Okay, um... Before I get into the uh, main topic, um... I got some, like, uh, show updates and things like that. Um, uh, I thought I was gonna have Jay Shoals on today, but maybe there is a mix-up, uh... Yeah, I haven't seen him online, like, uh, ever since I emailed him. I only sent him, like, we sent each other, like, two emails after that. I didn't uh, hear from him, so, uh... But, like I said, the show must go on. There's always something we can do. Um... Whatever it may be. Um, now, I, I guess, of course, some of the viewers have been on to, to my shows. I have been doing some YouTube videos. Um, usually it's what I do here on the show. Um, uh, recently, um, I did something, um, you know, when I wasn't broadcasting. Uh, I just wanted to kind of do updates just for YouTube on the show. And I guess I was going to try to call them Cheddarbox updates. It's sort of like a video log, I guess. Um, I was kind of experimenting how it, if it would work and how I would do it. And I kind of basically used... Um, I'm still using Wirecast, but instead of broadcasting it out to JTV, I'm, I just um, do it straight to the hard drive. And I'm basically using the same encoding settings... Uh, that I use for the broadcast, except um, instead of broadcasting in Flash, I'm doing it in, um, I think it's QuickTime. Uh, they got like, I think it's M4V or something like that. And then I upload it to YouTube, and which is uh, matches the exact same quality, you know, I use for the show, and then it uploads from JTV. So it uh, seemed to work pretty well, and uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to do it all the time, because a lot of times I just usually do the updates on the show as well, but I might do something separately just for YouTube. But uh, most of this stuff, like I said, I do it for the show, so, you know, just experimenting on that. And uh, another thing with Wirecast, uh, with the new one, um, with the kind of cameras I'm using, which is the Sony camcorders, um, there's there's some settings in there. It, it was always kind of wonky. I mean, it wouldn't prevent me from broadcasting. So, you know, I kind of gave up for a while. And then, uh, recently, a couple of days ago, I went back to it. And, uh, you know, there, there, there are source settings, you know, for different, um, you know, webcams, camcorders or whatever, Firewire or whatever you're using. And the settings, you know, it, g it gives you a choice well, what you want to use, what standard. You can do it like um, 720p, 1080p, whatever. Well, I, w I would put it, because I got two cameras, so I would save it. And uh, and, the, and the savings would never save. You know, I'd, I'd quit, I'd start back up, and then they just disappear. And I think that what was happening, um, and actually that would affect my shots as well, only in one shot per in particular. So um, what I did was I went to each camera because uh, there were actually you can set what your camera wants to do. Um, this is all through HDMI. I'm not talking about saving the disk on a flash drive or anything, uh, but um, you can uh, choose what output setting to HDMI, which is usually to a TV, but in this case it's a capture card. And um, so it was set on auto, so which I didn't know what it automatically go to 1080p, I'm guessing. But um, so what I did is instead of using the auto setting, I went to on each camera, I decided to use uh, 1020p. And so I saved it on both cameras. And um, once I did that, it seemed to work a lot better. And in fact, once I had each one set as a, um, a video source, there was actually a little green button on the left side of each one which I never knew, you know, that there was supposed to be. So it seems to me now it's actually working and it's actually saving the settings now. So uh, I figure um, 720p would really be good enough. Um, I doubt if I'm really going to broadcast in 1080p, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, um, now I don't know if it's going to really make my broadcast any better, but as far as the shots, it seems to work a little bit better. Um, one shot would always get squished down to f uh, four by three. I don't know why, so I'd have to change it uh, manually. But now, it didn't, you know, those little quirks um, kind of seem to stop. So I'm happy with that. So, uh, and I' gonna go to my topic. Um, and I was kind of deciding on what topic to do, but um, now this one has to do with. Um, you know, using uh, 
it's it kind of has to do with technology and actually different you know subjects a little bit it's a little bit politics in there but it's kind of interesting of course you know for years uh quite a few years now um a lot of there's a lot of state laws where you can't use your cell phone while you're driving or texting um you can uh, a lot of cases use hands-free which is uh, i agree you should be able to use hands-free now recently um there's some state laws especially in new york they have a big problem with this because a lot of people use the subways and or walk they walk a lot because the traffic's so bad and um where you can't use like um if you're using a music device you know you can't use it with headphones or you get to have one ear open uh or using cell phones um you know let's say you got an ipod uh, ipad you're using and you're going through a crosswalk and that could be illegal and that's uh i don't think it's been enacted yet um but i think right now it's up in uh maybe uh i think it's in new york but actually um i'm not sure i'm kind of mixed on that i'm not for or against it i think it could be a very good idea perhaps we might should i do have a video clip that is actually very popular on youtube and some of you guys may have already seen it and um uh, I'm, I'm i'm showing it to you not be it is kind of funny but it's not the reason why i you know i'm going to show it to you but um you know of course it can be very dangerous and uh, i'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, news clip right now <laughs> tracy gets out and all awkwardly walks away oh my god Play it back, play it back, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you. And she just leaves. I gotta she... show you the other angle. When was this? For 20 today. Oh my god, that was today? Yep. So there she goes. And boom! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's cool. Because now. Like, me, look at that guy dying in the corner. He just saw her and fall. Where'd she go? Where did she go? <laughs> she goes here and talks and walks out. Pedro from housekeeping is like, Are you all right? She's like, Come this little way. She goes in the store? She stands there. I guess she's like, Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. Okay, uh, that was a clip. Um, actually, it's been, uh, you know, it's starting to get very popular. I guess it's viral on uh, YouTube. And, I, well, I, I kind of showed that because she was actually texting while she was walking. So um, you could see how that might be a problem if, you know, because, you know, you're busy doing something and you're walking. You don't realize what's going on. And now... You know, I've been in the military for 20 years, and um, all these, a lot of these Navy bases, uh, perhaps even Army bases or different branches of the, of the military, of course, um, they had a, a ban on using your cell phone while you're driving, which is un un understandable. But um, probably within the last um, two to four years, they now don't allow anybody walking on base to have you know um you know if they're using their iPods they can't you can't have headphones on you know in your ears because it might distract you while you're walking across the street or something like that now you can when you're using the uh the cell phone on base you can you can use it you can answer it but you can't be walking <clears throat> you know you're going to stop walking you can pull it out and you you can talk which is fine um so um, so I'm kind of wondering if, uh, in some areas that's, they're going to, uh, enact some of these, uh, laws perhaps in, in the future. And, uh, what about you guys? Uh, how you guys feel about it? Because, uh. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I, I can't really figure out if I'm for or against it exactly. But uh, now I do notice, you know, the people jogging, you know, and I'm driving, uh, you know, often. And um, 
or even they can even be walking. Sometimes, you know, you get up to a crosswalk. Some people don't eat. They just go across. They don't look. And so, and sometimes it's hard to tell if they're going to go straight across the, uh, the crosswalk or they're going to turn left or right, depending on where your location is. And, you know, because if they sit there and pause and look both ways, that lets me know they want to cross the crosswalk. So uh, sometimes it's uh, it's kind of hard as a driver trying to figure out what, you know, the pedestrians are going to do. So. Uh, well, that was kind of, you know, uh, tech related. Um. I don't know. I guess you could think of newspapers as well. I mean, uh, before all these cell phones and electronic devices, I guess people in New York um, reading the newspaper while they're walking, I guess might be popular as well. But uh, Well, I think it should be on both sides. I mean, um, of course, people going across the crosswalk, they have... Um, uh, usually people walk and have the right of way, you know, um, so usually it's up to the, the driver to watch out for them. But then again, I, w I don't think, you know, pedestrians should push the limit and just, you know, um, you know, you need to stop there, look both ways or whatever. Um, stop right on the sidewalk, pulling out of the driveway. 